Hello everyone, here we are having a question. Uh, let's read it out. It is actually from the units and dimension. So they are saying Planck constant capital small f, sorry, uh, speed of light in vacuum C and Newton's gravitational constant capital G are the fundamental constants which are given to us. Uh, which of the following combination of these has the dimensions of length? Well, first of all, in order to start, first of all, we have to find out the dimensional formulas for all of these things, Planck constant, speed of light in vacuum, and the gravitational constant, capital G. I hope you remember there is a formula called E is equals to H nu, right? So if you apply this and find out the value of H, then it will be E upon nu. I remember because E is basically energy, and energy has the dimensional formula of L, L square T minus 2. And nu is actually the frequency and it has the simplest dimensional formula of t raised to the power minus 1. So if you simplify it, it will be ml square t raised to the power minus 1. So this is the dimensional formula of Planck constant. I am writing it down so I can use in the next part of the question. So this is done. The next one is called the speed of light in vacuum. Speed of light in vacuum is just simply the speed and it is having the dimensional formula of m0 l1 t minus 1. I hope you also remember this because it is the easiest ones. And the next is universal gravitational constant. I must say this is actually a little bit difficult. That's why we must remember the fundamental formula. F is equals to G capital M1 and capital M2. There are two masses and R is basically the distance between the two masses. So from this, I'm going to find out the formula for the capital G. So it is something like this. Now F is actually the force. It is MLT minus 2. I remember every student must remember the dimensional formula of force because it is, mo it is most used, right? So R square is nothing but L square. M1, M2 is actually mass. There are two times of mass, so I'm going to write down M square. If I simplify, it will cancel out, right? One mass will be cancel out, so it will be M raised to the power minus 1, L raised to the power cube, and T raised to the power minus so T2. This is the dimensional formula of capital G. So M raised to the power minus 1, L raised to the power 3, T raised to the power minus 2. If you remember all these things, then it's very good because it will going to save you a lot of time. So I'm going to erase the next let me do it yeah it's done so what we need to do right now we have to solve put the dimensional formula of hgc in each of the following and if you are lucky you get the answer in the first term and if you don't then maybe in the last term but we have to find out the dimension and they should match with the dimension of length because this is actually as per the question so let's start with the very first so let me write it down just a minute let me change the color this is not visible so A part, we are doing the A part, which is root H G upon C raised to the power 3 by 2. I hope you remember that root means having power of 1 upon 2, right? Now you could see C can also be written something like this C cube and having a power of 1 upon 2. Now 1 upon 2 power is coming out to be common. So I can write down something like this whole power 1 upon 2. Now I'm going to substitute H dimension is M L square T raised to the power minus 1. Then G is having a dimension of M minus 1 L key power 3 and it's T minus 2. Okay, then it's done. Now C is actually, you know, L1 T raised to the power minus 1 and it is having a dimension of cube, right? So, and the whole power is 1 by 2. So let's do it. First of all, m raised to the power 1. Here, m raised to the power minus 1. So they will cancel out each other. So I'm coming out to be 0. Here, l square. Here, l cube. Same base power will be added. So it will be l5. t, here it is minus 1. Here it is minus 2. Same base power will be added. So it will be minus 3. So let's move to the denominator. Here again, m is equals to 0. l is equals to 1. t raised to the power. No, no, no. l is having cube because the whole cube is also there. So t raised to the power minus 3. I hope you can see this is whole having the power of 1 by 2. m0, so we will not care about it. But t raised to the power minus 3 will be cancelled. And this is coming out L5 minus 3. Because same base in the division, it power got subtracted. So it is coming out to be L raised to the power 2 having whole power 1 upon 2. Power having power should be multiplied. So it is coming out to be L. So we got lucky in the very first time and we can see that on solving the part first, A part, we are getting the dimension of length and this is what the question is demanding. So we can say the first would be the correct option. I hope you got it. Thank you very much.